going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leverage to technology, and I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust. And we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American. You know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. The Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Basic. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system has kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, uh, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Very much a traditionalist. I like staying with the dollar. You know that from when I was there. It's make, mm -hmm. make the dollar the choice. I hate when countries go off the dollar. I would not allow countries to go off the dollar because when we lose that standard, that will be like uh, losing a revolutionary war. That will, be, that will be a hit to our country, just like losing a war. And we can't let that happen. And too many countries now are fighting to get off the dollar. And Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to.
Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. So we know the massive magicians are about to set up that distraction. So therefore, they can cut rates while we still have inflation. And in the fourth quarter, once the election is over, we know the movie begins. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, we have Bitcoin, crypto, and stocks down. And guys, I told you the roller coaster ride would be here and is here now. And then on top of it, guys, we get ugly GDP numbers. And we're seeing the longs liquidated. Don't forget, guys, we have futures tomorrow. Because we are taking a good dump right now, I don't see a good dump tomorrow. Probably just a slow pullback. And then, of course, on the weekend, we're the only game in town. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates. The front end pushed down. Long end is rising. We know no one wants this long-term paper. And then, guys, with these GDP numbers, Yield rates should be skyrocketing. And then we have the dollar down. We have volume and crypto up. We have Tether and USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at $441 billion, And make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis. Now, we have higher rates for longer. Slow GDP numbers. Just sent $95 billion to the drums of beaten. And then, guys, we have cyber. Then we have the election year. Guys, the distractions, the crisis, we can clearly see the setup. And remember, the NWO caused the problem. Wait for the reaction and run in with the solution. And the solution was ready 20 years ago. The robots, the algorithms, and drones, and of course, these digital currencies. And because they're programmable, and remember, guys, this is biblical. They'll be able to tell you what, when, when, and how to buy. And you have three to six months to spend it or poof is gone. They decide whether you can buy or sell. And unfortunately, the sheep are asleep. And by the time they wake up, they'll be in the metaverse. Remember, my people perish from the lack of knowledge, not because it's not there, because they reject it. They got it right at their hands. It's right at their feet. But when you look at TikTok, you look at these algorithms, they stay distracted. But guys, these stable coins are on its way. We have Maxine Waters. And guys, we know stable coins based on the Constitution is against the law. But we know the master magicians take that pen and write it on in. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, do not forget about the spot Bitcoin ETFs. We have BlackRock, Fidelity, and Grayscale, of course, all down. And we have BlackRock, Bitcoin ETF, daily inflows at zero for the first time. And what high rates for longer and what the Fed shrinking liquidity, even though they just have a slow leak, is still going to pull back on stocks and cryptos. Now we're seeing numbers come in. We're seeing these corporations beating numbers, but the stocks are pulling back. But guys, we know why. And if you're a part of my Patreon premium stock account, I warned you what was about to happen and how to position yourself 
especially if you have 401ks. But remember, guys, in stocks and cryptos, we're still going to have pumps and dumps. We're just going to be headed down, and that means that we have to pay attention to news, listings, in order to take advantage of some of these pumps. Now, getting over into a little crypto news, we have Robinhood, LaShiba, Avalanche, and Compound for trading in New York. And then lastly, guys, we have Samurai Wallet Charge and Money Laundering Scheme. Yes, guys, you heard that correct. We know the banks are the biggest what? I'm going to let you finish that. And believe me, there was a lot of Bitcoin attached to this, and we know the government has been getting free Bitcoin. And nobody talks about all that Bitcoin that China mined. Remember, guys, the fourth industrial revolution is all about the machines. Where the robots, algorithms, and drones take the economy over and pay each other with crypto. And machines now have money. It was two things the machines were missing. Money and eyesight. And now they have both. Remember, this is the chosen generation biblically. That's the reason why they call it Generation Z. And we'll see if they can wake up out of their sleep in order to save America to Babylon. If not, America Babylon falls. And then you're going to have the rise of the dragon, China with that digital yuan backed by that digital SDR. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the new world order book, plus the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys, don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me. But I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Um, COVID-33, Part 3, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.